Hey everybody, this is Richard R.J. Rodriguez here, and I'd just like to um, discuss something, uh, some disturbing news that I just heard. Our so-called governor, Gavin Newsom, once again, is uh, not showing his, his self not worthy of being governor. He tied the hands of all police officers that's going to result in a bad way for us law-abiding citizens. The police officers will now be held accountable for any deadly force that they use. But the, number one, they're always held accountable. Number two, he's going to make it harder for these officers to do their job during a split second decision if someone's holding a gun at them or if someone's holding a toy gun. So that means if someone's holding a toy gun and the officer shoots that so-called person holding that toy gun, the officer could be criminally charged. They're saying that if all options were out, like a taser, um, other options, options that the officer may have had at that time that's not always the case it's a split second decision I'm going to tell you something right now I am a former Brinks guard involved in two shootouts okay the second shootout my partner and I were both ambushed inside a bank of America in Santa Monica I hesitated that split second when I saw the gun pointed at my partner. The reason why? Exact same thing what Gavin Newsom is trying to uh, pass, sign that bill. Even back then, 1995, there was a lot of controversy on police officers using deadly force, uh, lawsuits, and that's exactly what went through my mind when I saw that gang member hold the gun to my partner. Wait for him to shoot first, or do I shoot first because of a lawsuit? Will I get in trouble, go to prison, if I shoot him first? This can't be. Police officers need to have their discretionary. Their split-second decisions. It's not always going to be good. As a matter of fact, any shooting, even if it's a good shootout, as was mine, it's still not a good shooting because of the suffering and the pain that everyone goes through thereafter. However, these poor police officers whose hands are now tied because of our so-called governor, he's making it harder for them to be police officers. Don't be surprised if they start quitting their jobs, which is going to be, actually, it's not going to be good for us law-abiding citizens as well. We're going to be left with so much violence from others who are already committing these acts. These police officers have a hard enough job already. And the governor just made it harder for them to do their job. A police officer doesn't want to kill someone. I don't know why that's gotten into the minds of everyone. They want to go home at night after their shift to their families. Just as I did back when I was a Brinks guard. I wanted to go home at night. I didn't want to be put six feet under. And my partner, still alive to this day, however, he can no longer walk. He's paralyzed from the waist down. So, things cannot be like this for the police officers and I'm very disappointed and disgusted with our so-called governor, Gavin Newsom. He has turned his back on all law enforcement and law-abiding citizens like me and so many others of you out there. And I just find it so disgusting. He's giving the criminals the advantages, the benefits, letting them out early from prison. That's another one. And we all know what's happening there. They're going back out, committing crimes, murdering. And 
it's just becoming really uh, tragic out there and too violent of a world for a police officer to have his hands tied like this. So I just want to say to the, all the police officers, I'm behind you. You guys are doing a fantastic and amazing job. And I'm sorry that we have to have such a poor quality of a governor who wisdom is actually doesn't have any wisdom when it comes to this kind of a thing. I heard he's been a police officer before, but he's not acting like he was a former police officer. He's not acting like it. So anyways, I just want to say he's a disgrace to the office, to the citizens, and to the police department. That's all I have to say. Have a good day, everyone.